Welcome back everybody. It's gonna be kind of a quick, impromptu video. Bit of a dog's breakfast. Got a few things to cover. Don't do it, my brethren. Don't follow Babylon teaching. Rally around the red, green, and gold. Been going through some old CDRs the last week or two. Extra time at home, as many of us are facing the uh, current ongoing situation. Had uh, many discs people had sent me back in the day, late 1990s, early 2000s. Most of them I'd long since listened to, but there were a couple of odds and ends that I found some stuff I'd never listened to. This is one we're listening to, tune I discovered just recently that I'd had kicking around for years. Leroy Mafia. Rally around the red, green, and gold. Came out as a UK 10 inch single in the early 2000s. One half of the UK production duo Mafia and Flexi. This brings me to the subject of reggae 10-inch singles. Uh, last video I think I uploaded, my friend uh, Pat, aka the Music Head. Check out his channel if you hadn't, haven't. I'll put a link down below. Was asking me about reggae 10-inch singles. I've got quite a few, almost uh, like a uh, cube-sized uh, space filled. Reggae 10 inches not quite as well known a format. I was gonna do a whole video on them, but I thought I'd just uh, show you a few quickly. Man used to live in love. UK roots, early 2000s style. Uh, the UK roots scene carried on with the 10 inch singles, uh, putting out new music. Uh, right up to today and the format also became known to me through reissues uh, I got several Augustus Pablo's rockers label 10 inch single the classic keep on knocking by Jacob Miller reggae 10 inch single these uh, it's a nice format really these combine the loudness and the bass and the dynamics of the larger 12 inch single but you can fit a uh, you know, two, at minimum two tunes per side, or an extended tune, within a more compact format. Observer Gold, 90 The Observer Productions, reissues. Clap the Barber by Michael Rose, along with Guess Who's Coming for Dinner. Observer Gold label. Early 2000s, the Trojan label in the UK put out a number of uh, limited edition 10 inch singles. I picked up quite a few. Trojan, all came in these sleeves. Tristan Palma there. Lee Perry and the Upsetters with Cloak and Dagger there. Some Bunny Lee Productions, reproduction jackpot label. Blood Dunza by Johnny Clark. Early Lee's Rocksteady, My Conversation, The Uniques, or Gypsy Woman, rather. People Rocksteady. Sonia Pottinger's Gay Feet label with Johnny and the Attractions. The Ethiopians, Engine 54. And the crucial Keith Hudson with Old Fashioned Way by Ken Booth and Dynamic Fashion Way, killer Keith Hudson Productions. Dennis Brown with Concentration, Derek Harriet Production. Also got EP by the obscure root singer Gideon Aja Rubal. Eight track EP on 10 inch vinyl. Heavyweight pressing here. 
These came out uh, early 2000s, I believe. Limited edition, 63 of 500. Also got a limited edition dub plate mix on a red or pink 10 inch vinyl. Gideon Ja Rubal. The Studio One label put out 10 inches. Studio One 10 inch singles, 10 inch classics. Larry Marshall. I think I needle dropped that song when I did a spotlight video on Larry Marshall a while back when he passed away. Studio One 10 inch. The answer. Foundation rhythms of Studio One. Channel One Gold. The reissues often are called Gold. Channel One with the crucial Beware by Creole. Stars Gold, Tapazuki Productions. Fenzik by Tapazuki. Gal Masi Sik. She Masi Wana Fenzik. My friend from the UK explained that slang for an aspirin or some kind of medication. Bunny Lee Productions, Lee's Gold Label, 10 inch single, Bangarang, Stranger Cole. Also Bunny Lee Productions, Attack Gold, sister label, with the absolutely brutally heavy Jaw Love Is With I by Johnny Clark, one of my favorites by him. Love this tune to death. Bunny Lee Productions. Uh, Pressure Sounds label, uh, which has been going from the 1990s to the 2000s, has also put out a number of 10-inch singles. I uh, bought this one off a friend of mine who was kind of downsizing all his Pressure Sounds singles. 10-inch Pressure Sounds came out uh, mid-2000s, I think. Bunny Lee Productions with some dub plate mixes by the Aggravators. As I said, uh, the UK... Roots Music has carried on putting out new music, often on 10 inch singles as well as seven inches. Got a handful of them, not a lot. It was not a style I got too heavily into. Jaw Warrior Records, one of the more well-known labels. Got Sister Rashida here. It's quite a heavy pressing as well. 10 inch singles. 2006, I think that came out. A uh, quite collectible UK label is Ja Tubbies. I got a few of their 10 inches. Here's one by uh, Kenny Knotts and the Bush Chemists. Ja Tubbies label out of the UK. Label and sound system, I believe. Uh, but uh, so the 10 inch format was mainly known to me through uh, the new music coming out in the, the UK through the 1990s, through the 2000s. They kept the roots vibe alive, but also developed their own sound uh, based on the militant steppers beat. Uh, but there were vintage 10 inch singles that also came out. Maybe the, uh, the 7 inch was more the format of choice uh, from the mid 70s on perhaps inspired somewhat by the uh, the disco extended mixes. The 12 inch singles became prominent in the late seventies in Jamaica, but there were also vintage 10 inch singles. You don't see them around too much, at least I don't, but I've accumulated a few over the years. Uh, Derek Lara, the late Derek Lara, Pama 10 inch single. This one was a really strange local find. Uh, it's kind of not the usual vintage you see for the Pama label. This is early eighties, Lover's Rock kind of style, Hello Stranger, uh, obviously a cover of the Soul tune and uh, quite a nice version it is. Uh, Jimmy Cliff production on his own Oneness label. Probably early 80s on this one, I believe. Jimmy Cliff with Errol Scorcher, rub -dub partner, Oneness label, Jimmy Cliff's own label. Uh, big hit single, here for the Mighty Diamonds in the early 1980s was a song called Pass the Coochie, which updated a uh, vintage Studio One rhythm called Full Up. Uh, Coochie was a, uh, a uh, marijuana pipe. Uh, Pass the Coochie, massive hit for the Mighty Diamonds in the early 1980s here on Music Works 10 Inch. Music Works, Gussie Clark's label, uh, was later uh, sanitized, uh, update, updated by um, 
musical youth as past the duchy, with the uh, less controversial duchy being a cooking pot instead of uh, the kuchi. Music works 10 inch there. Uh, also have a few Channel One original 10 inches. One from the Hitbound label. I think a friend of mine gave these gave these to me for free. Was uh, uh, pulling these out and listening to them pretty recently actually. Earl Cunningham, Make You Mine. Early Dance Hall from the early 1980s. Little John, Pray to Ja. Another one by Little John. Also on Hitbound. All Channel One productions. Give Me Your Love. And Barry Brown, Serious Man, Serious Dance Hall. Early Dance Hall, early 1980s style. Hitbound 10 inch. And I uh, just received this one actually pretty recently. This is uh, again a vintage 10 inch single by the Twinkle Brothers who were stalwarts on the UK scene, but did start out in Jamaica in the 1970s. This is a 10 inch single lifted from their Virgin Frontline album, Love, from 1978, I believe this is. This is original. Love contains uh, six songs from the Love album. Includes Inner Sleeve with the Twinkle Brothers there, Norman Grant and company. And that is classic Virgin Frontline label, 10 inch single. Was pretty happy to pick that one up. Do have a later reissue of the Love album in LP format, but kind of cool to have this 10 inch single, which uh, you certainly do not see around too often. Uh, next up, I got some VCLT in just today. I'm gonna uh, show that. Got a package from the ever generous, ever kind Trish Mullins, DJ Trish. Uh, Trish, you spoil me once again. So got a package here. Try not to show anything there. Package from Trish. Let's see what we got here. I've opened these up. I have not looked inside. I can see there's a t-shirt in here. And we have, I've seen, I think Steve Carlson show one of these. Trish Mullins. Custom t-shirts. Thank you very much, Trish. That's very cool. Check her channel out. Again, I will put a link in the description box, unless I completely blank out and forget. A note from Trish here, and as always, some stickers, which she always includes. And several, oh, we got some uh, reggae here, reggae CD. Shabba Ranks, Red Dragon, Lieutenant Stitchy, Little John again, Admiral Bailey, Yellow Man, Big Youth, Dillinger, big 80s and 90s names on there. And some mixes, of course. Trisha's Christmas mixes. Rocktober 2020. 80s grooves. Yeah, definitely some classics on there I remember from back in the day. Thank you so much, Trish. We'll be enjoying these. You are too kind. And I also got a package, gonna try and get through this quickly. Got a package, not gonna show anything here, from a John Downing, six inch pianist over in the UK. Very generously sent me some uh, some 45s. He, uh, he let me know something was on the way. Thank you too, John. I haven't looked inside here, so let's see what uh, what there is. See if I can uh, tell you anything off the bat about these. Oh, there's uh, quite a few 45s in here. Hope this didn't cost you an arm and a leg, John. Ah, okay. Bebo's label, that's kind of a cool label. I don't have a huge amount on there, but I definitely know what it is. Peter Metro. Duppy come, Duppy is a ghost or a spirit. I do not know that one. That's very cool. Zulu Minot, I do not know this one. Mixing Lab, I know the label. Distributed by Technique. Oh yeah, Roy Francis production. Roy Francis started the Mixing Lab uh, studio and label. That would be who? More wells. We got some more wells here. Very nice. More well label with the more wells and the Roots Radix on the back. The more wells band actually morphed into the Roots Radix. Very nice. Don't think I know that one either. 
You are hitting me up here, John. Very nice. Uh, good old Jimmy Riley. Did a spotlight video on him as well when he passed away. The Top Rank label, I do have several records on. I found uh, locally, uh, many years ago, I walked into one of the local record stores. They had a bunch of uh, reggae 12-inch singles there, and several were on that Top Rank label. And there were some good tunes in there too. Super cheap at the time, kind of before the, uh, the vinyl resurgence spiked. Shine Eyes Baby by Jimmy Riley. Another one on Top Rank. Tony Tough, jam it again. I do think I know that one. Got a news clipping uh, cut out on there. Top rank label, always worth a listen. Uh, taxi, the Taxi label. Sly and Robbie's Taxi with uh, Ranking Joe on there. Very nice. And Revolutionaries on the back. Must be kind of an early Taxi production, I'm guessing. Ah, good old Anthony Red Rose. I've been listening to a lot of King Tubby's digital productions. Again, those uh, those CDRs I was going through, uh, one of, or several of them, I had uh, multiple discs of King Tubby's digital productions. They were in some weird format. Uh, most of my players wouldn't accept it, so I'd only listen to them kind of once. Uh, the last week or two, I've been going through them, uh, burning proper CDs and listening to them. 10 CDs worth of digital productions and Anthony Red Rose was one of the more reliable, um, more reliable artists that cut digital tunes at King Tubby's on the Clarendon label here. Nice one. Do not know that one by him. This is all kind of uh, 80s and uh, 90s stuff, I would guess. No, 1983, early 80s. Tristan Palma again, Gemini. Thank you so much, John. I'm really appreciating these. I'm going to enjoy listening and going through those. Uh, the Moo Disc label, 1986. Bunny Maloney and Delroy Wilson. Don't know Bunny Maloney, but Delroy Wilson's a big name. I've done a video on him too, I believe. Ah, Joe Fraser. Joe Fraser label, DJ Big Joe. Oh, Donovan, uh, Donovan Germain uh, distribution. Production by Lloyd Campbell from the Joyd, Joe Fraser label. Lloyd Spider-Man Campbell. Very nice. And last one, Dennis Starr International. Definitely have some of his productions. Dennis Starr Hales. He's actually someone I'm kind of curious about uh, digging into because I have come across quite a few of his records uh, in various bulk halls. I have quite a few singles and stuff, but he's not somebody you hear a whole lot about. Dennis Star Hales with the Dennis Star label and uh, DJ Screwdriver on here. Punani can be good. That's a bit of dance hall slackness right there. Thank you so much, John. Really appreciate this. I always feel bad, kind of bad when people send me things. I'm not very good at getting organized, getting stuff sent in, sent out uh, in, uh, in appreciation of uh, things people sent me, but I'm going to try and... Uh, get my butt into gear and get going. So thank you so much, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. A uh, bit of a musical grab bag here, but I thought I would kind of get it all together, put it out there, and uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. Take care.